Hello dancers, my name is Claudia Dean and welcome back to the YAGP YouTube channel. And I'm here at home, I'm about to give you a really exciting video. If you didn't know, I am based in Australia and I run Claudia Dean World, Claudia Dean Collections, which is my dancewear brand, and also Coach Me World, which is my online dance platform. So how you prepare your body leading up to such a big competition like the YAGP is so important. I myself competed in the Youth America Grand Prix back in 2010, representing the Royal Ballet School. So I have so many exercises that I want to show you on how I used to prepare my mind and body, especially for the YAGP. All I want you to go and quickly grab is your power band or any resistant band that you have. So let's get straight into it. Okay, actually, before I get into it, meet my little puppy, Gigi. How cute is she? She's a mini dash hound. You're so cute. Now think of how often we do our retire position. So lift your leg up into retire dances and just have a feel of how open your hips currently feel right now. I personally don't feel like my hips feel very open, but that's about to change with this key exercise. So what I want you to do dancers is just grab something to hold on to. I'm just using a little bar stool or you could grab a bar, a bench top, whatever's close by. And all I want you to do is tie your power band just above your knees, exactly like I'm doing right now. I want you to make sure too that it's in quite a tight double knot. So it looks exactly like that. Now all you're going to do is grab your stool and just stand on your right or left foot. You can do either foot at the moment. I'm picking to lift up my left leg in retire because that's my weaker leg. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna lift up our leg into almost a parallel retire like this. And now all I want you to simply do is drop your left or right hip down, whichever one's your working leg. And then I want you to really zip up your supporting leg. That's it. Now here, I just want you to open out that left or right knee, whichever leg you're doing, as far as you can. That's it. And then go back to parallel. And then repeat it. Go open, open, open. And then back to parallel. Okay, let's do six more. And open, open, open. Good. That's one. Back in. Now go open. That's two. Back in. Then three. Good. Back in. Then go four. Good. In. Then go five, that's it. Last one, six, good. Now try and do a retire. Lift your leg up. See how much more open you feel? It literally works like magic. And we use retire so much in our variations, in pirouettes, just in balances. So having the right amount of turnout strength for your retire is so important. And this one here, Retire turnouts with power bend will give you that. Now for exercise number two, this one's going to improve your arabesque. So everyone keep your power bend with you. And what I want you to do is keep the bar stool or bench top or bar with you as well. And just try lifting your leg up into an arabesque. Again, have a feel of how high your leg's going. And remember, it's about to get so much higher. So what I want you to do is tie your power band around whichever foot you decide to do and you're going to do a really tight double knot. And then I actually want you to stand on the other end of the power band, exactly like this. There. Now, all I want you to do, dancers, is grab your bench top or bar stool or bar and lift up your leg as high as you can. That's it. Now, what you're going to do is eight pulses. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, now let's do it again. We're gonna do four more sets. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more sets, you're doing well. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And last set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, good. Now take your foot out of the power band. And what I want you to do is now lift your leg up into the arabesque again. See how much easier that feels? 
It's honestly so much easier dances. So remember, we do so many arabesques in all of our variations and throughout class. So this is such a handy one for you to do on both sides every day. Now you're about to learn my third exercise called bent knee calf rises. Now, if you're struggling with jumps, getting over the top of your point shoe or your feet, this key exercise is really gonna improve all of those things. And it's such a great stamina one for your calves. So what we're gonna do is we're going to basically keep holding on to our bar, and then we're going to place one foot down in the ground, and we're gonna lift up our opposite foot in parallel petit retire. Now you're just gonna plie down on that supporting leg. Now all you're going to do, dancers, is rise up on that supporting foot to about 70% high so you're not going all the way up like this and you're not doing a little bit like this it's about 70 percent and then go back down and then try it again go up 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 go towards your third toe so you're not rolling inwards or outwards you're going towards your third toe and then going back down now try it again go up 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 that's it and you should feel it in this lower area of your calf right there and then again, go back down. Now we're gonna try 16 all together. So let's prepare, hold onto the bar, lift up that working leg to parallel petit retire and fondue down on our supporting leg. And let's go for 16. And one, down, two, good, three, and four. You should feel it now. Five, and six, and seven, good, eight, lift up that supporting hip, nine, and 10, that's it, 11, Gigi's here, 12, good, 13, three more, 14, might be a little bit shaky, that's right, and last one. Good, doesn't that really hurt the calves? But in a good way, because again, we need calf endurance for everything we do in classical ballet. This is so good as well for your fuetes when you have to do a lot of releves on one foot. So keep this one up dancers leading up to your competitions. Now for our next few key exercises, we're gonna be on the floor. So pop yourself on the ground. And for our fourth exercise, we're going to learn an exercise called my Demi Point Stretch. This one is so amazing for the flexibility in your big toe, which obviously helps our aesthetic line of our foot in classical ballet. So what I want you to do is just tuck your toes under exactly like I'm doing. Make sure your ankle bones are together that's it. Now, all you're gonna simply do is just sit back on the feet exactly like I am like this, and let's stay here for one minute. Three, two, one, go. Now, dancers, when you're here, I just want you to try and put as much weight back because that's obviously then gonna really target that big toe joint. Like I said, having a more flexible big toe really increases the aesthetic line of our foot in classical ballet, but also more importantly too, it actually increases and helps the line of our demi point. So if you can actually get higher up on your demi point because your big toe is more flexible, then it's a win-win situation. So this key exercise does exactly that. And I'm also, by the way, because some of you might be wondering, I'm wearing my CD Active. That's my Claudia Dean Collections brand for some of you that might not know. It's all available on ClaudiaDeanWorld.com. Now I think we're nearly finished, so hang in there. Okay, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and relax. That's it. Now dancers, if you just now rise up onto your demi point and you're gonna feel how much easier it is to get onto demi point now that we've stretched out our big toe joint. How much better is that? So good. Now quickly go and grab your power band again. What I want you to do, if you don't already have your shoe off, just take one of your shoes off. And what we're going to do is we're gonna actually roll up our power band exactly like this. This fifth key exercise, by the way, is called toe lifts. And this is so amazing for our intrinsic foot strength. Obviously, most of you would know 
Intrinsic foot strength basically increases our foot strength overall. So the stronger your feet are, the easier your point work's gonna be, the higher you can jump, the more force you'll have in your pirouette. So we wanna make sure we have strong feet. So fold up your power band exactly like I have. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna actually put the power band underneath just our big toe, exactly like that. Then I want you to grab two ends of the power band with one hand, exactly like I'm doing. And I want you to try and plant your four other toes in the ground. And then you're gonna try and lift off your big toe like this. Now, when you're doing the stances, if you can make sure as well that your hand is sitting on top of your big toe joint like that. Now, when you're doing the stances, if you can also make sure that your right hand is also on top of your big toe, exactly like this. Now, all I want you to do is try and pull the power band up a little bit. So there's a bit of resistance between your big toe and the power band here. And then you're gonna try and push that big toe down into the ground, good. And then try and lift it back up. And again, go down into the ground and then lift it back up. Now, as you're doing this, try and keep your big toe in a straight line, keep going. Good, and back up, that's it. Keep your four other toes in the ground too, and back up. Let's do five more, okay? Go one, and then up, good. Then go two, good, up. Then go three, good, up. Then go four, that's it. And then last one, five, Good, and remember to do both feet. Now dancers, keep your power band with you and we're gonna go on to our sixth key exercise. So for this one, what we're gonna do dance is we're gonna actually tie each end of the power band around both feet. Make sure you tie them in really tight double knots. This one is called my power band middle split pulls. And this one basically improves your hip flexibility, hip range, and just overall, you're gonna feel much more open in your hip area after you complete this. Now, what we're going to do dance is once we've tied both ends of the power band around both feet is I want you to actually turn the knots so they're actually facing the inside of your foot exactly like this. Then from there, we're going to push the power band behind our pawpaw, exactly like that. Now, if you don't know what the pawpaw is, that's the bottom. Now, after that, we're gonna lie backwards like this and we're gonna open our legs out into our maximum middle split position like that. And we're gonna stay here for one minute, okay? Let's go dancers. Three, two, one, go. Now, whether your feet are flat on the floor right now or if they're a little bit up like mine, it doesn't matter. It's all about just trying to open your hips as much as they can possibly go. Now, also remember dancers, that leading up to a competition, you can always feel, I guess, a whole lot of emotion and nerves and excitement, and you're sort of wondering how well you're gonna go. I think the biggest thing to remember, dance, is that the judges are always on your side. So at YAGP, they want you to do well. They want you to excel. They want you to nail the pirouettes. They want you to execute everything perfectly. And I think I used to always remember that the judges were on my side and usually that would make me feel so much more calm. So that's probably my biggest tip to all of you right now watching this. Now just stay here dancers, keep it going. So we got five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now just slightly bend your knees. That's it, bring them back in. Release the power band from underneath the pawpaw and then sit up. And if you now take your feet out of the power band, now just try and do a middle split and it should feel so much easier. Like my hips feel so much more open, which is amazing. And I mean, let's face it, we need good middle splits for nearly everything we do in classical ballet for our extensions, for so many moments in your variations. So make sure you keep up this key exercise every day leading up to your comps. Now our seventh key exercise is called resist hamstring stretch. This is so good for your hamstring flexibility. So if you're struggling with your splits or your extensions, 
this one's the one for you. All I want you to do is grab your power band and I want you to lie down on your back stances and I'm gonna lift up my right leg today. But you can obviously do both legs once you finish this video. Now flex your foot and place your foot in the center of your power band exactly like that. And now I want you to stretch and lock up that knee and draw your foot back as far as you can. Obviously foot to nose is a great thing to think of. Now in this position, all I want you to do is now resist against the power band like this. So resist, resist, resist for 20 seconds. And then once that 20 seconds is up, we're then gonna pull the leg closer to us using the power band and hold that for 20 seconds as well. So once we've done that once, we're then gonna repeat it two more times. So in total, we do it three times all together, okay? Let's go dancers. Three, two, one, and resist, go. Now what I find is when you really strengthen your hamstring, as well as stretching your hamstring, that's when you're gonna notice you gain the most flexibility and strength overall for your extensions. So this is a great one if you're trying to improve the height of your extensions. Five, four, three, two, one. And now relax the leg back. Now hold this for 20 seconds, dancers. Flex the foot, make sure the leg is completely in line with your nose and really just focus on breathing and relaxing and dropping the leg down. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now resist, go. Go, 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 go. That's it. You'll find after the third set, your leg will draw back so much further towards your nose, which is exactly what we want. Keep resisting. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and now relaxed, go. Drop it back. That's it, dancers. Keep it up. Flex the foot more if you can. That's it. Lock the knee up. Very good. Keep going, keep going. And five, four, three, two, one. Last set, go, resist. That's it, you're nearly there. Push, 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 push. Good. Also you find as well, having more strength in your hamstrings also helps the strength of your turnout, which obviously we know turnout is so important in classical ballet. So if you find you're struggling with your turnout, this is a great one for you. Two, one, and now relax. Drop it back. Good dancers, lock up your knee. It's our final relax. Lock it, lock it, lock it. Keep dropping it down, down, down. That's it. And five, four, three, two, one. And relax fully. Good job, dancers. Now, we've got one more key exercise that I really want you to learn in the lead up to all of your competitions. This one is so amazing for your back and lat strength. Now, if you didn't know, your lats are located just here underneath your shoulders. And this is the muscle that basically gives us the strength in our upper body to give us the ballerina look, as I call it, which is this. You know when you watch ballerinas and they just have that look? It's because they've got such strong lats right here. So this is great for strengthening that particular muscle. What I want you to do is grab your power band and I just want you to place it behind your back and try and just leave a little bit of band just relaxed off the ends like this because that's gonna help us get more resistance. Now you're gonna create a second position like this and really lift up the elbows. That's good. Now just go back into first. Perfect, okay, now from here, all I want you to do is lift up your shoulders as high as you can, that's it. Now I want you to think of pulling your chicken wings out to each side, exactly like this. So from the back, it's gonna look like this. We go up, and then we pull our chicken wings to each side, side, good. Then we're gonna focus on pulling our lats, which are right here and here. We're gonna pull that down to the ground like this, whilst keeping our wings out to each side. Do it again, go up, then go pull to the side, and then go down. That's it. We're gonna do eight of these in total dances and I'm gonna guide you through it, okay? Let's go. And up, pull our wings to the side and then go down. That's it, go again. Go up and go side and down. Try and get as much space from your earlobe to your shoulder. And again, go up, pull to the side and down. 
Good. Keep your elbows up. Up and side and down. We're halfway there. And up and go side and down. And go up to the side and down. That's it. And up and side and down. Two more. And again, up to the side, down. Pull those lats down. And again, up. Last one. Pull those wings to the side and then go down. Pull the shoulders back against a brick wall. Good. Now I just want you to take your arms away from the power bed. Now just do arms in first. See how light they feel and see how it's much easier to lift your elbows because when we do pirouettes, we always want to make sure we have that nice supported position. We want the long necks and this is exactly how we get that. We get it by pulling our lats down and getting our chicken wings out to the side. Now dancers, well done. You have successfully learnt my top eight key exercises that get you competition ready. I feel like every key exercise that we learnt today targets different areas of our body, which is exactly what you wanna do leading up to a competition. Remember dancers, if you wanna learn more of my drills, follow alongs, exercises and tutorials, all you've gotta do is go to my platform, coachme.world, and you can learn so many more on there with me. If you're about to compete in the YAGP, I honestly wish you the best of luck. The Youth America Grand Prix was one of my most favorite, memorable experiences ever. And I just learned so much from the judges' critiques, from the experience on stage, and just being a part of the competition. So enjoy every single moment. Remember to subscribe to my channel, Claudia Dean World, and also make sure you're already subscribed to the YAGP YouTube channel. And I can't wait to see you all very soon. Lots of love, dancers. Bye.